And we've been to the south of France, you'll remember, exotic places like, ooh, America, Los Angeles, and uh, we've been to Glasgow. This time, however, we're somewhere far more exotic than all of those places, rolled into one great big bundle. It isn't actually that warm here, however, there are lots of things to see. Oh, there goes the sun. There will be a historical expert on hand, who we'll be speaking to later to give us details. I said we'll be speaking to him later, not now. To give us details of what's going on. You'll see this remarkable suspension bridge in the background and you'll think it's our suspension bridge. It's giving the game away. Now, where could they be? Could it be Sydney? You can't see an opera house out there. It could, however, be uh, San Francisco. Um, but our budget wouldn't stretch to anything as ridiculous as that, so it's not that. It is, in fact, of course, Hull, where there's lots of interesting things going on which we'll be seeing, historical things, things in general which we'll look at, and, of course, a lot of bands. First of which is the Red Guitars. Lots of leisure time to sit and work it out. There's a TV show.
the red guitars. And this, almost just as interestingly, is a, a very ancient piece of history. This is a statue here which has something sinister around it. It's not only a statue of King William, which is coincidentally enough above these toilets here. So there's a big willy being erected above the toilets. But also, it's said that if on a Sunday in Hull, which this is, it pours with rain and a stranger should walk into these ancient toilets, strange things can happen. Only if it's in conjunction with another thing which has happened, which I'll explain to you. I said we'd be having more of history in him later. This is a far more spooky. I think spooky is probably the word thing which I'm going to show you now. And these, these toilets, which the passerby to Hull is, is, is often can be found stopping and having their sandwiches in, it's been a place of many interesting historical events. I believe the, uh, the uh, Treaty of Rome was signed in here and, um, and the Battle of Crecy, I believe some of it was also fought in here before it was moved and hewn from, from the bare granite rock of land that you can see written there and moved to here. And it said, on a rainy day in Hull, if King William's statue is looking down, in these toilets, at the same time, coincidentally, a goldfish can be spotted within this system. Great luck will be befall the man who simultaneously uses this urinal. Good grief. Can this be luck? Can this be set up? What can it be? It is the great goldfish of Hull. Well, I must now simultaneously use this urinal here. And that will now <coughs> hopefully bring me great luck. Maybe even I'll be lucky enough to see uh, the Indians in Moscow.
then harbour any preconceived ideas about Hull or the bands in it before you've actually been in. For instance, if you were going to make a phone call in London, in Newcastle, in anywhere, you'd expect a red phone box. But here, no. They're white. Another thing that draws many people to Hull is the fact they have a white phone box. I don't know if red ones are too political or they could have had green ones like they have in, in army type places, but no, white they are. Hard spot in the snow, but an exquisite, an exquisite thing altogether. As you can see, a nice white phone box which you can see when you come to Hull. The next band, which is called the Luddites, again, shouldn't be judged on their name alone. For the uninitiated and the ignorant stupid wallies, Luddites means, or Luddites were people who in the 19th century used to smash up uh, equipment in mills because they thought machines were taking over people's jobs. Now I don't know if the Luddites are going to be smashing up their tape recorders or their drum machines or anything like that, but you must watch without any preconceived ideas and judge for yourself. in Hull for 20 years and when I used to play in bands in Hull I can name you a few of the bands that were around at that time there was Nothing Ever Happens The Rats uh, That Feeling Flesh to name but four and uh, I guess the most successful band that came out of Hull was The Rats because out of that group formed The Spiders from Mars yeah. of course you know who they are no well, I do, but tell people to don't. Well, Spurs from Mars were backed by a man from Bromley called David Bowie, as you know. And uh, out of Hull, we're still waiting for this Humber sound. Uh, I mean, is it going to happen? We've had the Liverpool Mersey sound. We've had the Mersey sound. We've had the Thames beat. We've had the Thames beat. We've had, had the animals from Newcastle. But one, one of these bands we're going to see tonight could be the forebearers of the Let's hope sound. so. Taxi for Mr. Home, oh, please. Yeah. Mick Winston is an album, of course. Well, you, you, you're your whole golden sun. He's been squeezed in What are you doing now? Well, now I've got my own band. It's called Luxury. I'm the bass player, and I do the singing. Guitarist is a guy called Pete Sipper. Did you find it necessary to leave Hull to find the enormous success that you now are? Yes, I had to go and seek my fortune in London. That is oh, the way. Oh, look, and it's... Uh, 
weighing down the off the jump. Yes. Off to the spider club then. Good. Uh, no, not not you actually, you're the crew. No, you're we're the RT, so we go in the taxi, you're the crew, so you go in the bus. I'll tell you what, I've seen these cults and fads before, they always come and go. Blossom like the trees in spring and then they melt like the winter snow. I've seen the nitty gritty skinheads and the arty farty students. I've seen the witty, pitiful beatniks and those hippie flippant movements. I've drank with the fruity, futile glam rockers and the homemade swerve friends. Eaten with frantic new romantics and brought it all back up in punky trends. The aggressive mods and rockers became hot rods and mockers in chemical reactions. The nowhere brought new wave. They changed to hunky funky rapping factions. And I must admit I was drawn just a little bit by a couple of these attitudes. But there were those that I could name who I know begin to claim that no one says to hat each you. I must have been a pod or a monk, whichever you prefer to choose. But I couldn't get the look up to a tea let down by my platform shoes. I can't ignore the extreme extroverts, that is, the perverts with the cream buns and their knobs. And spotted public schoolboys in the class who pretend to rebel by smoking hash and believe they're middle class yobs. You're all standing in cliched poses with rubber noses and laughs as false as your teeth. You tell me your outfits and identity, but really it's a non-entity with nothing underneath. Each and every one of us set to change the world because we're young and volatile and rebellion's always sweet. But we all know what a revolutionary looks like because we've met him in the street, looping along carrying portable fold-away soapboxes from which to spew radical dissatisfaction. Another emotional supercharged energetic you, just like the cults and fads, but we never see any action. We just ramble on for a year or two until our time is through and then fade away into obscurity. But now we've our uselessness in fighting ourselves. Let's channel our strength in unity. Every nation's youth together and all religions one. Trample the graves of past hate, class and conditioning till everyone is gone. Start the final youth movement. Bring our kids up right. Make them make the useless wars and governments and make working people fight. The power's there among us all. Let's shine the guiding light. Sow the future seeds now to flourish overnight. Right lads, fathers.
<clears throat> well, was that that was the international rescue, what an excellent sound that was. And then the question you might be asking yourself was, well, is that the Humber sound? Well, it's a bit hard to tell because we're sitting back here just drinking, but it could well have been. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome you've got there. Well, that's it, that's it from us in Hull, I think. Uh, and, uh...